Hello everyone, and I'm looking forward to catching up with you in Greece. I just thought it might be a good idea to show you my open air setup so, to give you some ideas. You do not have to have the same as me, but uh, just to give you some ideas, I've um, over the years bought many easels for working on site, and um, this is the, the uh, combination that I like best for the way I work. First of all, I've got this particular tripod stand, which is a, a nifty one in that it it's, comes in four sections. A lot of them are only in three. And being in four extensions, it means that it's short enough to fit easily in a backpack. It doesn't take up so much room. The brand is Monfrotto, but I'm sure that you can find any number of uh, uh, tripods that do the trick. Now, the ease of setting this up is also wonderful. Just unclick it here, give it a shake, and here we go, and then click them all up again. So within minutes I've got my tripod, or within seconds really, uh, I've got my tripod sorted. Here we go like this. Now, I've got, it's got a nice swivel ball joint on the top here and um, so I secure that like so and then this particular setup I really like because a lot of the tripod cameras you've got screws to screw in and it's really annoying but this one you just simply lift it out and then this attaches into the armature of my en plein air setup. Now the thing that I've discovered that I really like is this one uh, that is put out by Sun Eden. This is actually two pieces but I've kept it attached because uh, it comes apart in two pieces because my uh, wing nut has lost its wings. So I need, a, I need to get that fixed. But these two little pieces, it's made of plastic and these two little pieces become the T-bar. You can easily unscrew them, turn them and therefore I've got a space in which I can do at least a 16 by 20 which for me as the demonstrator is very very useful now working on plein air I would certainly be working smaller than that but if I'm wanting to demonstrate something and I want everyone to see it clearly then it's necessary for me to have a bigger piece of work this then attaches onto the little doohickey there a little screw and then that just sits into here and clicks into place and there we have it I'm set ready to go I've also got a shelf that then I can put my tray of, of pastels on and this simply this is also put out by Sun Eden and this simply hang on simply pulls out like this And then it attaches onto the easel or the tripod like that, resting down as far as it can go and then clicks into place. And it's very, really quite sturdy. Now, if it was going to blow a gale, then I've still got a little, hook, a little area here that I can hang my bag off to weight it down so I wasn't going to blow away and there's just a little, some come with little hooks out the end, this one's just got a little area there that I could uh, perhaps use a zip tie and attach something to it to weight my easel down. So I'm set to go. My little en plein air pastel box is a Heilerman box. This is the backpack side. Now take no notice of the colours in here because I've I've been away a lot and they're absolutely jumbled up and they're a real mess and I've just been carrying extra pastels in this one. But they have this memory foam cover which holds everything into place. Uh, folds out into a like folds up into a little box like that, folds out like that, I attach it, it has a hook like that just stiffens it there and then that can be put simply onto my shelf and I'm ready to go apart from of course my uh, backing board with, with uh, bits of paper on. Now 
You could use two, just two pieces of foam core for that. Currently I've got a little old canvas underneath the back of that one, but that's not absolutely necessary. A thicker piece of foam core on the back, bottom, a thinner piece of foam core on top, and the two of them just get clamped like that with these type of clips. So they're held like that and flipped down. That means you can carry safely your finished works home. Now this, of course, goes up on here with some paper attached. And I just attach it with masking tape. I carry a whole heap of pieces of paper, about 10 by 14, 10 by 12, 8 by 10, that type of thing, for working on plein air. I will work, I can work slightly bigger than that. I could go to half a sheet and that would be all right. Uh, the selections of papers I've got in here, I've got some colour fix, I've got some Sennelia Lacarte paper, which I quite like for working on plein air. I've got some um, UART and Fisher 400. Uh, they're of heavily sanded paper. So I've got that all in a little collection. Bring enough for two, at least two works per painting day. Then I have a number of sheets of glassine. Glassine paper is just like a, 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 a baking paper almost, but it's acid free and archivally sound and you can get it from your art supply shop in big sheets and cut it to the size that you need. So there we have it all nice and easy to put up. I can, I can be ready to paint within three minutes and uh, sometimes you really want to do that because you see something and think, oh, that'll be great to paint, I'm just going to set up here and, and off you go. You can waste a lot of time looking for things to paint. I never do that. I uh, get myself sorted and I look, I think, huh, I can make a painting out of that. And then I'll just swivel, swivel around a bit more and say, huh, I'm going to make a painting out of that too. And you could get uh, 40 compositions just by swiveling on your bottom uh, or sort of swiveling around with the easel and seeing different aspects of the landscape. It's a lot of fun. And admittedly, it takes, uh, if you've never done en plein air before, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But after one or two uh, goes, you find that your eye gets trained to see measuring and see sizes and relationships. And, uh, and then you start to really enjoy it. I find in doing en plein air uh, that you take greater notice of what is in front of you rather than doing uh, just taking a photograph. Of course, take as many photographs as you need to. But when I'm doing en plein air, I'm actually focusing all of my senses. I'm thinking, I'm using my sight, I'm using my hearing, I'm using my uh, sense of, uh, sense of um, smell. I can remember sitting on the, uh, the edge of a, um, a lock in, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a lock, it was a little lake, in somewhere in France and drawing Louis XIV lieutenant's uh, summer residence or something like that. And I can remember the sounds that were around me. I can remember the smells. I can remember what people were saying as well, the music that was going. And I took notice of everything that was happening so much more than if I just took a camera and photographed it.